http colon slash slash www.cosmicparadigm.com slash marks underscore corner slash Tuesday, July 27th, 2010 Transformation Part 3 Beliefs share this The messages at this site are the result of communications between Mark Kimmel and beings who are not the current indigenous humans of this planet. The communications have been verified as coming only from those who are of the highest Christ consciousness. There are now 136 messages on this site. They build on each other. For their full impact, read them in sequence beginning with September 2008, archived below. They detail the transformation of this planet, our place in the universe, and the positive outlook for our future, if we are willing to act. I hope, by presenting them to you, that they spark your curiosity and a decision to join with others to create a new civilization on Earth. As always I encourage you to seek your own unique truth, and live it. This is my 16th posting to Mark's Corner for 2010 that involves communications from off-planet beings and other non-humans. It is with great pleasure that I again welcome Adriel, a celestial of this universe. This communication is the third in a series of messages dealing with the transformation of Earth civilization. Greetings to all on the surface of Earth. Beliefs rule the actions of most humans because you are unable to see the truth of things. You believe a certain diet is healthy so you eat certain things. You believe a certain way to exercise is good for your body so you practice it regularly. You believe that by conforming to certain standards of behavior that people will accept and like you, so you behave in certain proscribed ways. Beliefs precede actions. Beliefs rule the activities of most humans. Many of your beliefs come from other people. Doctors tell you that you must do certain things to cure an illness, so you follow their advice. Teachers tell children how to behave, so the children follow the rules. Churches tell their followers what to believe, so those that attend that church believe in a proscribed way. Corporations, through their advertising, convince you that you need a particular product, so you buy their product. A bank advertises superior service so you deposit your funds with them. You watch television news to learn what others believe is going on in the world. Beliefs do change. Parents convey judgments to their children. Their children hold these beliefs until something comes along to change that belief. The media conveys a story. Days later the truth of the situation comes out. Governments publish statistics to show a particular trend. A month later a new statistic overrides the older one. Scientists discover a new virus. A new theory of disease is born. Because you understand so little of your environment, your beliefs are what you have to go on in your daily lives. This is not a criticism. It is a statement of the situation in which the human race on Earth finds itself. Those in power use beliefs to control others. Governments convince those they rule that they are operating in their best interests. This may or may not be true. Corporations convince customers that their products or services are the best. This may or may not be true. Religions convince their followers that they know the larger picture and that their followers should believe them. 
This is an exceptionally powerful way in which people are manipulated for the benefit of a particular religion. Most religions do not want their followers to believe that there is an armada of starships about this planet, and that aboard these ships are humans from other worlds. This will destroy the church's grip over their followers, so they deny the possibility. Religious beliefs will be particularly difficult barriers for many people to overcome during the time of the transition. When the reality of the earth changes and monetary collapse hits them they will seek out religion for answers. It is most unlikely that their religion will supply them with satisfactory answers. Many people who have achieved a certain level of consciousness believe that they are in the right spot and in the right frame mind so that the changes I spoke of in my earlier messages will not affect them. This is true only for the few who are truly able to maintain a higher frequency. To say that all is in divine order and believe that none of the projected difficulties will touch you is an illusion. Better to prepare yourselves for the difficulties, and then if they do not touch you all well and good. If however you are not prepared for the changes associated with the transformation and they come despite your best efforts to avoid them, you will find yourself in a most difficult situation. Beliefs cut both ways. A strong belief in your own ability will carry you through the difficult times ahead. Such a strong belief will set an example for others. A belief that you will remain totally unscathed, and need not prepare, will not serve others well because in the event you collapse their belief will be disintegrated. If on the other hand you have prepared yourself both physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, then your belief will stand strong. You will weather the changes with a minimal amount of fear, and you will stand as a rock for others so that they might also weather the changes. Examine your beliefs, really examine them. Are you in a state of denial because you believe it is too hard to be realistic? What can you change? What can you not? You are in charge of your experiences on this stage of life. Concentrate on having wonderful experiences. Collectively humans can change Earth. It is after all your collective fear that has degraded her. I say collectively. That means the participation of a critical mass dedicated to change. It is our opinion that you do not have that critical mass. Therefore we foresee that the changes associated with the transformation will impact you despite your beliefs to the contrary. Better to seek out those close to you, or move to a place of safety then band together for your mutual benefit. We foresee that there will be collections of people in safe places who share common beliefs about the transformation and what lies beyond it. We foresee that they will come to the assistance of each other in time of need, not degenerate into fear. On this basis we are prepared to assist these dedicated groups of individuals. We will not plunge into the chaos of the transformation and save people from what they have wrought. We will work with dedicated groups who care about each other and who are operating in the best interests of all. Seek out those of a like mind. Prepare for the changes. Support each other. We will come to assist, not save. Your beliefs will drive this process. Examine them carefully. Thank you Adriel. Your message today further.